When we are asked to, to create data in our database, we are often faced with a situation where we have to import it from an external source onto our server. Here's a table yacht, and we're going to tr try to create data in yacht class ID, sale number, and yacht name from an Excel spreadsheet which we've created. You'll note that I've, in I've only included the imported fields and not the auto-generated ID number, which will be produced by the server itself. We go to the database and we right-click Tasks Import Data, which is down near the bottom. And we then go a process of locating our file, firstly selecting the type that we're going to use, which is Excel in our case. And we browse the file on the local hard drive, Yacht, and Open. Untick the first row creates contains column headers. Next. Now what we have to do is we have to map what's in the spreadsheet into the correct table. SQL Server will try and create a new table as default, but we have to select the existing one that we want to use, which is Yacht. Edit the mappings, and we now indicate which field is going to be the destination field for each field in the spreadsheet. Notice the unhelpful names F1, F2, F3, etc. You have to remember what you were doing. So that's okay now. We've got our fields identified and we can start to do the import. Next, 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 and finish and hope for the best. Yes, good, that's okay. Now what we'll do is we'll do a check query inside SQL Server Management Studio by selecting the table yacht and then doing the top 1000 rows. And yes, we've got the data successfully imported into the server's database we can relax. It's important that you remember the topological map so that the order is correct.